Hey, what's up guys? It's Brittany K. Jackson here with the Los Angeles Sentinel and tonight we're here at the highly anticipated movie premiere of Surviving Compton. Yes, Dre, Shug, and Michele. You don't want to miss it. Los Angeles, we are here with a beautiful Diane Houston. How are you tonight? I'm really, really good. Thank you. Now, you're a writer for Surviving Compton. Tell us what that experience was like and how you tried to draw on the true essence of Michelet's experience. Well, the, the entire story is based on Michelet's narrative. She and I sat down for days and hours and hours, and she just opened up and told me her story. You know, um, there was enough material to probably fill a 10-part miniseries, but what my job was is to get the essence of Michelet's story and present it through a lens that could be understood as her story from her point of view. Amazing. And, I mean, how did you interject that into the rest of the cast? Um, you know, the roles that were being played for Dre and Shug and just really highlighting what that experience was well, like you know, for her. As a writer, I create the roles and I breathe the life into the words and the role that, that I can. And then the director takes it, okay? It's, it's, it, it's, it's like making a big stew, you know? It's like, here is the pot and here are the ingredients. The director's gonna add, you know, you know, a few more things in there and then stir the pot and the actors are going to bring their understanding in. So it's always, you're always discovering the story inside the story. When I saw Rian's performance, I'm like, wow, yeah, you know, and maybe it started with the words, but it ends with the performance. And so it's a real journey. That's quite amazing. That's quite amazing. Well, we're looking forward to seeing Surviving Compton yeah. and just everything um, about her story. What? What um, also, what aspect of her narrative was so important to um, tell for women who might be struggling and the going fact through? That it is a victory. The fact that you define your own victory. Victory isn't defined by having a billion-dollar grossing movie, or a uh, not necessarily defined by you know being a mogul and a billionaire and a movie star and all these things. Michelet defined her own victory. Okay. She's alive, she's well, she's working, she's singing, she's creating, and as a mom, her kids are doing great. That's a victory, and that's something that I think women will understand. You know, sometimes it's not victory with the big capital V that makes it onto the marquees everywhere, although she is on the marquee now. You know, it's like victory sometimes for women comes at a different pace and in a different size but we move at a different pace in the universe and we are a different size in the universe we're always going to get ours it's just going to come when it comes i absolutely love that take notes ladies out there you heard it first from diane houston thank you so much you're very welcome thank you have a blessed evening you too